if you want to learn Google Data Studio, if you want a better way to present your data and tell stories, and if you want to learn data visualization, a must-have skill for any company, agency, startup, or whatever you do, this class is for you. Hi, my name is Juan, and I will be your Google Data Studio instructor. In this first session, what we will do is reviewing the most common questions about Google Data Studio, but also the most common misconceptions. So, welcome and stay tuned. The first thing we want to know is what is Google Data Studio? Data Studio is a free business intelligence software which is different from just a data visualization tool. Think of it of things like Tableau, Power BI and Click and not of things like Databox or Dashdis, which are mainly for client reporting. What is the difference between data visualization and business intelligence? Well, with BI, you can transform your data. Clickfolio actually says it very well on their site. They are a great alternative if you want to visualize your data as it comes and as it is from the data source. Meanwhile, with business intelligence, you can transform your data, you can create your own metrics and dimensions, you can run your own formulas and functions, and you can blend your data sources. That's the main difference between BI and data visualization. In general, the difference is with business intelligence, you can ask more specific questions to your data. How hard it is to learn Google Data Studio? Well, I must say it is pretty easy. In a few hours, you can learn the basics to build your first dashboards, and you don't need to be a programming, coding, or databases expert. You can get it started right away. But eventually, you will ask more specific questions and queries, and in that moment, it will be recommended if you know the basics of SQL and regular expressions, which seem complex at the beginning, but the basics are pretty simple too. Also, if you are a Google Sheets or Excel user, an intermediate user, you will be comfortable with Data Studio because functions and formulas work pretty much the same. Many people wonder which solution is better between Tableau, Power BI and Google Data Studio and I must say that both Tableau and Power BI are more complete solutions than Data Studio. However, they might not be the best solution for your needs. What I mean with this? Well, both Tableau and Power BI offer better visualizations and better analytics features. For instance, with Tableau, I can visualize standard deviation. With Data Studio, I cannot do it easily. But if you are not a data analyst expert, if you are not an expert in data analytics, Google Data Studio will be good enough 90% of the time. And there is something else. Data Studio is free, and I am not talking about a free trial or a freemium version. It is free. Meanwhile, both Power BI and Tableau might be expensive. May be expensive for most small businesses. Why Google Data Studio is free? There should be some catch there, and I will say the catch is none. As far as I know, Google Data Studio was launched in 2016 as a paid solution. However, the product wasn't good. No, I am being polite. The product sucked. Google Data Studio sucked in 2016, and in 2017, Google made it free. Now, in 2019, Google acquired Looker, a Google Data Studio alternative, for $2.6 billion to integrate it into the Google Cloud platform, which makes me think, okay, Data Studio will remain free, and Looker will be paid. And you might be one of those who think Google is doing this to steal your data. And I could say that they don't need your help. If they want to steal it, they are doing it already. So it is possible, but not likely. And it is the same. If, if you are giving your data to Tableau, Tableau is from Salesforce. And if you are giving your data to Microsoft Power BI, it is from Microsoft. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. I didn't expect that. Okay, while Google Data Studio was built for the digital marketing community, you can virtually connect any database and any data source, which means that use cases and examples are endless, but I won't cover them in this class, but the next one. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.